Hello and welcome to section 5. In this section, we'll talk about transfer learning, a method that will help you improve your CNN models. And we'll start with just going through step by step process of creating this new model using for transfer learning purposes. First, I kind of get the high level overview of what is actually transfer learning and why it's useful. So the main promise of transfer learning is that you can train models faster and using less data. And this is especially true for convolutional neural networks because to train effective convolutional neural networks, you have to have a lot of data, really a lot of data, and you usually train it for even a few days. And with transfer learning, we can cut this time because we are using a already trained model as a base. So why it actually works? And the main idea behind it is that CNN networks, they have this ability to create those abstractions of data. So the deeper you are in the network, the more abstract the representation of the data is. And that means that you can take advantage of it. And uh, there is a kind of a interesting way of looking at your data when you just input in your new data. And we can slightly tweak it, tweak this trained network and to tweak this already trained network using a very precisely chosen data, right? So we have this general abstract network. We can train it with just a little bit of data that we are really interested in. And usually this is the data that is really closely related to the problem that we're trying to solve. So we get this power of the already created all those patterns and distinction inside the network we can take advantage of it because, you know, chances are this trained network will work faster. We'll have those common patterns already inside and we can basically just tweak it a little bit for a very specific problem that we have. So what are the steps of creating this kind of model inside TensorFlow? So to do that, you have to create two models. So the first one, we call it often a, a free space model. And this means that we don't train this model because what we care about here is those weights, this content of the model. This is what the model has learned. So we want to keep that, right? We are interested in that. And as a side note, in TensorFlow.js, you have to create those two models in different frameworks. You can actually say uh, freeze a particle layer, so that won't be trained. So it's a little bit more complex to do that in TensorFlow.js, but you know perhaps it, this will change in the future. And then the second model is that the model that we will be actually training, and this is a very simple model. Those are just a few last layers that we are interested in training. And the relationship between those two models is that we are kind of a inputting the data or pre-processing our data using this freeze model, this pre-trained model, and we then inject it uh, back into the second model that we've trained. And you can see some examples of how to do that in TensorFlow and JS in additional resources. So if you're interested in this subject, feel free to check out those links.